Good day, this is the latest video update on Sanba, which is now a typhoon as it moves across east of the Philippines. This is our latest update on this Thursday afternoon. Again, if Typhoon Sanba or Bagyong Karen moving across the Philippine Sea, last located approximately 610 kilometers east northeast of Vera Catanduanes, or about 1,220 kilometers south southeast of Okinawa to the north. Um, Maximum sustained winds are now at 175 km per hour with gusts of up to 250 km per hour. The system is currently moving north northwestward at 15 km per hour. Now, this winds are from JMA, uh, JTWC, which uses one minute. Sustained winds have hi slightly higher uh, wind analysis of around 215 km per hour sustained. And if you go by that one minute from JTWC, this makes Sanba Category 4 Typhoon a very powerful storm indeed. And first thing that probably strikes you again is the strikes you is the well-defined eye. The eye has cleared out in the past 12 hours. The system is tr really rapidly intensified in the past 12 hours. Again, if you w if you've watched our video yesterday, Sanba was still a tropical storm according to JME with winds of 85 kilometers per hour fast forward to now present time and we have a very strong typhoon winds up to 175 kilometers per hour also looking at the microwave image here you hear showing you the eye wall the system well established here and also the clear well defined eye with the diameter of around 30, kilo 30 kilometers there now there is uh, some some aspect here that I want to talk about S this green area on the upper left of this image actually indicates dry air and um, dry air could actually eventually could actually impact the system's overall strength and we'll focus more on that later but uh, again as of right now the system remains a very powerful and very threatening typhoon indeed for Okinawa and eventually for the Korean Peninsula by next week now looking at the latest infrared image, you can show you that well-defined eye clearing out on both the visible and infrared image, also surrounded by a band of very strong convective activity, and also the central dense overcast, very, very good as well. Outflow, very excellent. A dual outflow channels to the north to an upper level low, and also equatorward outflow, excellent establishment here, allowing the system to ventilate, and also system allowing the system to again rapidly intensify in the past 24 hours much of the convection has also remained offshore but as we forecast yesterday rains will continue uh, rains continue to impact much of Visayas and also Bicol regions rainfall amounts have been pretty light around 30 to 50 millimeters still a threat for uh, for flooding and some landslides as rains will unfortunately continue for another day or so across Visayas and eventually overspread into uh, Luzon in the next few days not only by the outer bands but also the southwest monsoon which will be enhanced uh, by Sanba as for the systems track the main steering is now this near equatorial ridge uh, east of the system the ridge over Taiwan has weakened in response to that mid-latitude trough that we have been watching in the past few days moving into eastern China pushing that ridge and weakening it slightly to the east so this ridge is now basically the main steering mechanism for the system and uh, will uh, basically track the system to the north northwest and uh, eventually taking more a pull return, basically turn to the north in the next few hours, perhaps beginning tomorrow, and again uh, turning to the north and perhaps moving very near Okinawa by Sunday morning. And that steering analysis is reflected nicely here in the latest forecast tracks, again showing very good agreement, very excellent agreement across the computer models. And if you remember, that has been occurring in the past two to three days, so uh, again. Uh, showing nearly similar forecast even three days out for uh, for Sanba and taking the system generally northward and showing a uh, close pass
perhaps within 100 kilometers west of Okinawa by Sunday morning and that obviously puts the, uh, the island on uh, the right front quadrant which will subject the area in which will subject the area to the strongest winds perhaps uh, again by Sunday morning and also as we head into uh, as we head into the early part of next week models again taking sun but towards perhaps the Korean Peninsula and even if it does weaken by Sunday or Monday as it moves into East China Sea this system will still probably be a powerful typhoon by the time it makes landfall perhaps here in South Korea by as early as Monday evening or perhaps Tuesday morning. Now as for the short term system will be continuing to track across warm waters across the Philippine Sea still has roughly around uh, 24 to 48 hours of really favorable conditions should allow the system continue intensifying there is some slightly cooler waters to the north but still very conducive for continued intensification the only thing that will need to be watched is the possibility of eye wall replacement cycles which usually weaken storms strong typhoons by the time they make it to this latitude but as of right now going back to the latest microwave image haven't really seen any signs that could point to a developing eye wall replacement cycle so it looks like the system will continue to maintain its present organization perhaps again intensify more in the in the next uh, one to two days however this I've mentioned earlier in the forecast in the broadcast this area of dry air to the north of the system north and northwest of the system this image is from the Sims and uh, this is trop total precipitable water which shows the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere that we have here a sandba well entrenched with deep uh, moisture from the east and also from the west southwest monsoon here but if you can see here to the north you have bluish and light greenish colors which indicate some dry air and abundant amount of dry air actually to the north and also a finger of dry air to the uh, to the north and northwest of the system perhaps in training into the circulation of Sanba and what that means if it does happen we will continue to watch this development closely and if because if, if cyclones hate dry air basically they feed off of warm waters and moisture and if this dry air gets entrained into the circulation we could see sandba weaken slightly uh, in the next uh, one uh, in the next 12 to to 24 hours something that will need to be watched definitely but again all forecasts still pointing for continued intensification perhaps not taking into account the presence of dry uh, presence of um, of dry air but again either way system is still uh, very powerful and folks in Okinawa need to really prepare and closely monitor this system uh, as we head into the weekend again showing the latest forecast from JWC uh, forecasting a generally north northwestward turn and making a very near pass west of Okinawa closest point of approach roughly around 46 nautical miles around 70 to 80 kilometers west of the system by around uh, Sunday uh, early Sunday morning here and you can also see here intensity forecast from JTWC forecasting a peak intensity of 140 knots that makes it a category 5 system we haven't had category 5 this year yet and Sanba definitely is a very strong candidate for becoming our first category 5 and her second super typhoon of this year and also looking at into the midterm uh, long-range forecast from J JTWC forecasting system to maintain its category 4 intensity by Monday morning as it heads near Jeju Island and again into the Korean Peninsula west of Busan and passing south of Seoul so as of right now Okinawa needs to really prepare and closely monitor the system as we head into Sunday Monday and even into Tuesday residents folks across Korean Peninsula and even into Sh uh, Kyushu and Shikoku and Western Honshu really need to pay attention to the developments of Sanban actually begin preparing now across uh, across the Korean Peninsula not, not 
the uh, bringing panic here, but just giving you the insight on, on the current forecast and also again actually showing you JMA uh, reflecting off of what JTWC is forecasting a very nearly similar track on both agencies slightly west of the forecast track from JTWC but again still expect the system to perhaps hit the Korean Peninsula by as early as Monday evening or perhaps uh, Tuesday very early Tuesday morning across the, uh, across the Korean Peninsula finally before I end our video update for today take a look at the Western Pacific because I want to quickly point out the surge of southwest monsoon is starting to be enhanced by a sign by the moisture propagating across the West Philippines here the South China Sea starting to impact parts of Palawan Visayas and western Luzon we expect that rains to uh, overspread much of Luzon and Visayas in the next two days not going to be as heavy as the monsoon rains we experienced last month still some areas could receive 100 to even 200 millimeters in the next two days so something to definitely keep in mind also I want to point out a low pressure areas developed in South China Sea or the West Philippines you have Invest 91W a very weak system but has a closed low level circulation center it is in an area of unfavorable air uh, unfavorable region strong wind shear and also uh, being affected by the circulation of sand but in fact some computer models are forecasting system to become absorbed by this strong typhoon to the east perhaps that moisture associated with this low pressure air could move to the could move to the east and become absorbed by the circulation perhaps bringing more rains across parts of Luzon in the next two to three days so as again as of right now the main threat is for Okinawa and potentially into the Korean Peninsula as we go into the next few days this low pressure area not expected to develop but still need to be watched along with the surge of southwest monsoon for the possibility of widespread rains across uh, parts of Luzon and uh, Visayas the final ends our update for today you need to keep checking out Pagasa again the system may not make landfall with the threat of southwest monsoon and continued precipitation continues for uh, for the Philippines. Also JMA definitely check that out for the latest forecast and warnings for Okinawa and the rest of Ryukyu Islands as we head into the weekend. Finally we have South Korea's uh, KMA. Also if you do live across the Korean Peninsula please continue to monitor it and start preparing now uh, making, uh, making preparation plans as we head into the next few days. Stay safe guys. Bye bye.